Hi everyone and welcome to Curly and Yarny! My name is Milena and in today's video I will be weaving the dish towels that I warped in my last video. So let's get started! So in last week's video, I warped my loom and it, this week I'm going to weave on it. Uh, so uh, if you've missed the warping video, don't worry, I will link it in the description down below and I will also uh, put it uh, right here in the card uh, so, uh, you may, so you'll be sure to, uh, to have access to it. Uh, but just to do a very quick recap at uh, doing the uh, warping process, I decided to double the threads in my 10 dpi heddle. While doubling the thread, I did a technique that I haven't shown you yet on this channel uh, and basically what the technique was it was to uh, instead of pulling one loop like we normally do when we direct warp I pulled two loops and each of those loops were of different color so what I did I did three sections for the three colors so for each section I pulled one color uh, one loop of the color and one loop of natural and each section are eight inches long so this will be important when we start weaving <laughs> so here are the colors I use so I use of course natural which is in uh, every section and then I did the first section in sapin the second one in plum and the last one in teal so those are all 82 cotton from Maurice Brassard I will also uh, link them in the description down below so uh, the reason why I, I work this way with one loop of color and one loop of natural was because I wanted to have a cool color effect in my towels so in total I work for two towels and each towel will have a different pattern so and uh, now I am currently weaving the first one and I will be uh, going back in time and showed you what I did to get to this point and then what I'm going to do until the end of the towel. Uh, so for this first towel, for the pattern, I really wanted to have about the same thing that I have in the warp into the weft. Well, yeah, it's going to be similar but it's going to be a bit different because I have four colors so I will have four different kinds of blocks of color. So the first block will be made all in natural, then I will make it one green, one purple and one teal. And then back to one uh, natural so uh, this makes five blocks of colors and they will all be eight inches long each which will make for a towel of 40 inches long also in last week's video I talked to you about doing my first YouTube live video so this is coming up very soon so I wanted to do a little reminder here too on Saturday February 12 at 2 p.m. I will be hosting my first YouTube live video and I hope to see a lot of you there so uh, the way it works is basically me talking to you and there will be a live chat so uh, whenever uh, you want to uh, say something or ask a question you can uh, write it up but you don't have to you can ju just be there and uh, enjoy the show <laughs> so uh, during this live video I wanted to do something different than what I do normally in my videos so normally in my videos I talk about the projects or I talk about my tutorial but uh, there's other factors about weaving that I don't talk about so I wanted to have this kind of uh, more uh, dynamic discussion with you uh, so I have prepared a few things I want to talk to you about so I'm going to tell you more about how I started weaving I wanted to uh, share with you also uh, the beginning of Curly and Yarny and I wanted also to uh, tell you maybe uh, some things I think I've never shared with you like the names of my looms and why they're named like that <laughs> so be there to uh, learn about it if you've missed it uh, don't worry the video will also uh, be available uh, on my channel uh, later on after it's been broadcasted uh, so I really hope uh, to see a lot of you guys there and now let's go back to weaving Okay, so I have now just woven 8 inches with the natural color. So uh, if I follow the order of my warp, I will now be uh, ready to weave with the greens.
So here's a little thing that I wanted to point out about my warp pattern. So if you've seen my video about the warping of this project, I mentioned that at first what I wanted to do in the warping was to put all of the loops of color into this, the eye of the head hole and then the natural all into the slots. But I changed my mind halfway through, so in the middle part, so the plum, I did the reverse, so I put the color in the slot and the natural in the eye. So I thought maybe it would be it make an interesting effect so uh, when we put the head all in the up position and then when we put it back into the down position it's true we see the difference uh, of the of the work threads we see that the colors are uh, inversed but when we weave actually it doesn't change much the only thing it does is at the uh, the beginning of the colors of this color section and at the end we have this kind of a line on both sides it's because when I did this switch I didn't have any other cho choice that at one point I would have two threads of color next to each other and two threads of natural next to each other so this does never happen in the pattern since I'm always uh, having one in the eye and one in the slot but here it did so when I started weaving, I thought it was ugly. <laughs> I didn't like it at all, but then I took a step back and by looking back at it, I actually now kind of like it because it really makes a separation between the colors and it gives a little uh, 3D effect to my piece. Uh, so then I, it grew on me and I decided to keep it, but I was this close <laughs> to retreading everything. <laughs> I also I really like uh, how the color pattern is working out so it's making some kind of a squarish little pattern everywhere uh, I think we find it, we see it especially into uh, the white uh, so it's as if we have squares of white and a little pop of color in the middle so I really really like it So welcome back and good morning. I feel like my voice is still not used to talking. I just woke up a very beautiful Saturday morning after a big storm yesterday. So uh, last night I finished uh, the weaving of the towel. Uh, so I uh, wove another eight inches of natural. So now I have 40 inches woven for this towel. And I'm ready this morning to uh, start the, the next towel, the second one. Uh, so uh, for the second one, I had a few, I, juggle, I ju juggled with a few ideas in my head and I I uh, really like the squarey effect of the pattern and I kind of want to uh, bring that to another level so I'm going to make more square and um, and kind of frame those squares so uh, I'm just going to uh, start weaving and uh, I'll show you as I go so now the first step will be to uh, weave in some scrap yarn and I'm not going to make the same mistake I did in the other towels this time I'm going to use a color that is much more different than my work so it will be easy to show you uh, on the camera <laughs> the separation between the two towels so first i'm going to weave with some green So I want to point out a little trick that could help you uh, during the weaving of a project similar to this. Uh, so I don't know if uh, it is because of the warping method, but uh, all of my threads at the uh, back seems to have intertwined together. Uh, so uh, I suspect this is because of the uh, warping method because I was pulling two loops and they might have kind of twisted together. Uh, so what happens is that in the up position, we don't really see a difference. I still got a nice shed, but in the down position, my shed is pretty uneven. So I just wanted to show you two ways to uh, correct that and because I don't want you to be cursing at your project or cursing at me. Uh, so it's actually very easy. So if you have an, uh, no pickup stick, the best way to do it would simply to go down and just glide your finger like this and magically the twist just go further away on the threads and now you have a nice shed again. So I'm just gonna pop right here and do it again. 
and here we can see it immediately immediately getting better so we really see a difference and it's very easy doesn't take much time and it works pretty well so far that's what I've been using uh, since the beginning of the video but you could also do it with a pickup stick I'm just going to take one uh, quickly and show you with a pickup stick now I have a pickup stick that's long enough to fit the whole width of my project so another option would be to insert the pickup stick into the down shed just like this And then just slide the pickup stick to the end, to the back of the loom. And I can put it like this. So now I have the perfect shed. Uh, so then I could leave the pickup stick there and every time that I advance the warp, simply push it back. Uh, so now we can keep going. Now we have a very nice shed. So as I said in my towel, I'm going to make little blocks of color that will be framed with some natural. So uh, the first block of color is green and I wove it for 3 inches. The next blocks will be smaller, they will be 2 inches. The reason why I uh, wove it a bit longer is because I wanted to allow a little bit of uh, yardage for the hem. Uh, so now the green is done and I'm going to uh, weave it with the natural Alright, so now I wove 8 picks of natural, which is about half an inch. And uh, now it's time to uh, weave with the next color. So this time I'm going to weave with the plum. And now I have 2 inches of plum, so it's time to do another half an inch. Or if you prefer, 8 picks of natural. And I continue with the teal. So now I've just woven two inches of the teal. So now I'm back to weaving eight picks of natural. So and as you have probably guessed it, I'm going to continue like that until the end. I'll make sure to end up my towel with a block of color and I'll make sure to weave three inches like I did in the beginning. Now I can just keep weaving until I reach close to 40 inches. So this is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed doing uh, the weaving of those dish towels. Uh, so don't forget February 12th, it is a rendezvous. And uh, I hope to see you soon in my next video. I still don't exactly know what I'm going to do. So stay tuned, you will, we will both have a surprise. So I hope to see you soon, bye bye.